Okay, we are back. Okay, so now we are working on the wing. So this this method with the wings is actually the way. Um, it's 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 actually the way that I do uh, all my real planes, not cartoon planes. So what you're getting here is uh, is is basically the the way I always do this. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sketch this wing out. I always just sketch. I, this is my own profile here, so I'm gonna sketch uh, with a spline, and you'd be surprised. You, you, nothing has to be perfect here. Um, it's it's really not critical. All this stuff. I did notice that I needed to. I want to tone down the reflex a little bit here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go right there. So the reflex is toned down just a little bit. Oops, you need to be on a spline. Okay. Going to smooth this out here. That is not right. Somehow, there we go. That's close enough. And this needs to be out here. There we go. That will smooth out. Okay. All right. Right there. Down here. Okay, that looks good. And now what I do, what I've been doing, is with my wing profile, I bring them together like this. Oops, sketch plane. Oops. I actually wanna spawn, want this to go up here. Oops, connect, there we go. That's not right, something's wrong. Whenever it does that, you want it to be a control spline up here. There we go, okay. Now that is pointing upwards a little bit more. Um, this is what I wanted. I actually wanna do a little bit more reflex built in like this. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> going to move and rotate here. 90 degrees. Everything is 90 degrees. Move and rotate. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at where we want where do we want the the front of the main wing to end up? Probably a little past about 60% of the way. So let's scale this thing back a little bit. Move and rotate. Okay, left view. So it's orthographic view. Uh, okay. And right where we have it is pretty much I'm gonna actually cheat a little bit with this one uh, and just keep the wings up a little bit higher, but I can't go too high because we have a canard we have to worry about. So I have to actually bring this down a little bit. All right, there we go. Uh, how is that? How does this look in terms of the, let's make sure that's lined up. That's good. All right, so if we wanna put a, do we wanna put a, let me see the photo. If we want to do, I'm not going to do an exhaust cone yet. So I really want to scale this down a little bit in terms of the thickness. Uh, that looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I extrude or loft any wings, I'm going to copy this, bring it up here. And I'm going to scale this one down. All right, like that. Move and 
rotate. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go with five degrees of positive incidence. Rotate. There we go. That looks good. They're going to have to overlap here because it is for sure too small, <laughs> too stubby uh, to not. So uh, let's see here. I should really be doing this. Um, you know what? I, I really need to do the intakes before this. So I think we need to do that first. Uh, okay, I'm going to hide these. I'm going to hide these real quick. And I really would like to do... I'm going to look at the photo again. I'm going to pull the photo forward a little bit and figure out exactly where we want that to be. All right, so right there. Okay. Now, you can't really use the same method we did the fuselage with, uh, with the intakes, because they're going to be too cone-shaped. Like, like the Mirage, I just used the, uh, the, um, the Revolve. Uh, I can actually do it. I, I can stretch it. Okay. So I am going to do the revolve. Um, okay. So let me grab a plane. Here's a plane. I'm going to pull this out here. And I'm going to go 90. Okay. Bring it kind of like where you want to go. Sketch it here. This is about where I want the intake to be. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a line. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should make it on the... No, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to make the line like this. Just so it's long enough so that it will intersect. So, and I'm going to do another line here. And then I'm going to do a spline here. Okay. Now, let's see if this works. Let's, let's uh, hide the plane. And I'm going to go select the inside of the sketch. I'm going to revolve this like that. Now, we do have a cone here, but I'm going to see what, what's going to happen if I... See what happens if I pull it out, if I scale it. Can I scale this the way that I want? better it's not really d-shaped unfortunately we really need it to be d-shaped or else it's just going to look it's not going to look enough like a vegan so i'm going to delete that delete and i'm going to do what i said i was not going to do because i have to i was not going to start doing lofted lofted uh bodies here but I have to do it. I really need to. So, okay. So we want the canard to go start here. Okay. So I'm going to sketch on this. And, all right. So I'm going to do a line here. Oh, I found it's another sketch. This is literally, I hate this thing. I hate it when it does that. I found that sketch. It was literally on the same exact plane. What are the chances of that? So let me take this and move it either forward or backwards a little bit. Backwards. Now I'm going to sketch on here. I'm going to go line. 
I'm gonna right here right there okay on the intake to go about there and I'm gonna spline it like a D Okay, so now I'm going to soften it up a little bit, like that, soften this up a little bit, that looks good, soften it up a little bit, alright cool, that looks good, and the next thing I'm going to do, it's, does it have to be bigger, it should be a little bit bigger. I'm going to scale it a little bit. Okay, deselect. Just scale it a little bit. Now I'm going to go halfway. I'm, all, I'm literally making three sections. I am not going crazy with this here. So I'm going to do a section view so I can see what I'm doing. And I actually do want to go, I'm going to sketch this to be right about here. Uh, take the section view off so I can see my other sketch. See what I'm doing. I want to have it lined up with that. And I'm going to go spline. Okay. Now let me see how this looks. Is that where I want that to go? Uh, do I want the body to bulge out a little bit? I, uh, I think I do. But I, want, I really want to move this sketch back a little bit further. So let's move it back to like here. That looks good. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. It's roughly the same size. We're going to have so much intake volume here uh, that it doesn't really matter. Move and rotate. Yeah, that's got to be out there like that okay and then this one i'm going to move it i'm going to move this out of the way because it's getting in my way i'm going to move this out a little bit that looks good okay this looks good i'm going to scale this just a little bit up like that okay I don't want to pinch off my intake volume. The the fatty 50 millimeter uh, Mirage that I did is absolutely insane in terms of its uh, its its intake volume, and I never knew an X Fly could have so much power. <laughs> I like literally never ever knew uh, it could be so powerful. All right, so here I'm going to I'm going to merge. The, the tubes at this plane here right here okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a uh, section view and I'm gonna I'm gonna now sketch in the center on the center line because it has to merge it has to be symmetrical it has to merge the tubes together so I'm gonna go right here here I'm just guessing where the the size of that intake was and then I'm gonna spline this out uh, like this like that like that goes here uh, try to make it a little more symmetrical that looks pretty good okay section view so now we have a merge point I am going to visualize this so you guys can see what I'm talking about so you can see that that last sketch is merging right before the fan and it's going to give it so much air volume that half of an intake is more intake than my scale 50s get <laughs> it's absolutely insanity okay so i'm going to do this real quick i'm going to go one two three isolate this is the easiest way to do it you take the center one more loft loft turn off isolate okay so that is your there's your there's your intake 
Uh, it looks good. It's it's pretty perfect. It looks great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move this a little bit like that so that this this top of the body is inside the other body. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna I'm going to. Yeah, no, this is gonna be cool. You're gonna see this bulge here. You're gonna see the body bulge inside of there. Okay, good. So, all right, so deselect everything. Uh, let's make this not transparent because it makes me trippy. Uh, let's get rid of this. All right, so let's mirror, let's get rid of sketch planes. Let's mirror, let's mirror this on the green axis like we always do, done. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. It's like, it's, it's very cartoony. Okay, good. So, all right. So we are good to go here. We need to, uh, let's see. Let's make sure we go inside here. Let's. Let's union these together. Make sure that they take. Oh, they can't. They don't intersect. Okay. This happens sometimes. So these two bodies. Let's isolate them. Let's get rid of everything. All right. Oh, okay. I see why. All right. I, I get it. I understand what's going on here. I need to do another one. Damn. Okay. Let's do a quick fix here. Let's get the sketch planes back. Let's get this sketch. Nope, not that one. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's isolate. Let's take this, nope, this one. Exit sketching, move and rotate here. Okay, I'm literally gonna more mirror here. Done, delete, delete. And I'm going to, I'm going to loft that to this. Done. And I'm going to loft this to this. Done. Okay. So now, hopefully, we can union all these together. All right. Good. Now it's all one piece. All right. So we had to add another end cap on there. To, uh, oops. Oh, you can't. You can't. Um, you can't hide anything when you're isolating. Okay. So now we're unioned. We're good to go. Uh, this is moving quicker than I thought here. Let's do wings real quick. Let's do wings. But should we make the intakes bigger? Is this cartoony enough? I just don't know. Is it cartoony enough? Let's look inside where this thing ends up. Is it higher than the fan? Oh, it's it's huge. Look at the size of that intake volume. This thing is going to get more air than it even needs. All right, let's do the wings. Okay. Whoa, look how far off I was. Okay, these have to come forward, I think. Oops. Whoops. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There we go. I went uh, well, 6.25. Oops. Let's go 6.25. Let's go 0.75. Let's get rid of these. Go 0.75. So it's all even. Uh, this has to come in. So it's closed. This one has to come in. Okay. All right, that looks good. Let's do, all right, let's get rid of this. This has to move. This has to move. Okay, this sketch plane has to hide. Get out of here. Okay, how is this gonna work? I need this to be all the way over here. 
I'm going to have to go with a much smaller canard, I, th I feel, uh, than I was originally going to. I'm going to scale this down to that. That looks like it has to work. I can't really go too much bigger, bigger than that. All right. I like the way the bottom wing is, is set up. So I'm going to move this here close to the body as possible. I'm going to copy. Okay. So the Mirage, I mean, I'm sorry. The Vigan has a two, has a two staged wing. Um, how could I do this? has a two-staged wing so I'm gonna move and rotate I'm gonna copy it go here and then copy it again to about there now this is not where they're supposed to go I'm just doing this uh, just to try and line everything up so I'm gonna scale this one pull it all the way to the back here and I'm gonna scale it back to like there and then I'm gonna scale this one back to like here. It's gonna be real small there. Ah, I, to, I forgot to scale it this way. Scale this one a little bit too. All right. I'm not gonna do any washout yet because I need to I need to make sure this is all lined up. So I do have to bring this forward a little bit. Move and rotate this forward. I'm gonna bring it three quarters of an inch forward. And this should go a quarter of an inch maybe. Move and rotate. I'm gonna switch to millimeters. Ten. Let's do ten. That looks good. It looks like it's pretty lined up. Okay, so this one, rotate. I'm gonna go negative, uh, no, negative one degree. This one's gonna be, rotate, negative three. And I need to bring this one and this one down. I'm gonna do three millimeters, and then this one's gonna go another two, three, sorry. Okay, now let's see if we can more loft these to here. I won't loft into it, okay, why? This is frustrating, this one, okay. Let's, let's take, let's isolate these. Sometimes shaper needs a little, a little coercing. More loft. Okay, that didn't want to do it. Sometimes I have to loft from the other direction. More loft. Okay, you're gonna pull this back so that it's straight. Done. More. Loft. Okay. Done. Let's see. All right. So it does give you the feel, but it's too big. Um, it's too. It's too tall here. I had a feeling it was going to be. I'm gonna scale this, I'm keeping it in the back so that it doesn't move. I'm going to scale this back like that and I really need to scale this down a little bit too so I'm gonna scale this down a little bit like that I'm gonna scale the tip scale it this way okay I'm gonna do the same thing more loft fix this it took me forever to figure out how to fix that when I first started doing this more Loft here. Done. All right, that looks actually way more like a big one. Okay.
That is hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, cool. Okay, let's bring this guy and let's let's just see how it looks visually. Let's grab both bodies and bring them in so he's merged in there. That actually looks really freaking good. It's actually pretty darn perfect. It's got the reflex. It's got the washout that I want. And it's got a little antihedral. You can see that from here. See the antihedral? It's equal antihedral. Um, I like it. Uh, let's, let's just do one thing real quick though. I don't want to make it too much. I don't want to make the wing that much longer, but hold on. I really have to do this. I have to make this smaller. It's going to bug me scale. I'm going to move this back. I'm going to scale this back to here. Okay. There we go. Isolate. I'm going to loft these back more loft. Uh, I don't know why it does this. Like I have to teach it how to loft something. I'm going to go here more loft here. There we go, done. That looks a lot better. Looks a lot better. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, needed to be smaller there. That looks so much better. Okay. So I'm going to hide these uh, sketch planes. Oops. I, I didn't want to hide that one because I still have to do the... Uh, I still have to do... Let me move this. So the one thing that I noticed about the Mirage, the fatty cartoon Mirage, was the, uh, the flight envelope was very good, meaning it could slow down good. Um, so it didn't have a lot of wing loading. So the size of the wing was, was optimal. So what I want to do real quick is I want to mirror this here and I want to measure, I want to measure this, uh, let's see, I'm going to do a, a just a quick, I, they have a measuring tool in Shaper, but it's absolute garbage. Everything about this software is amazing, except for the measuring tool. Uh, everything I want to measure, I can't measure from point to point. So, uh, I have to sketch, uh, I'm just going to sketch a line. That's what, this is what I do. Switch back to inches. This has to be at least 19 inches. And it is, uh, it's really, it's, it's a little small. I really wanted this to be 20 inches. Oh no, it's okay. Because I have a, I have a canard. It's the canard gives you a lot of lift. I don't know why. I don't know why I forgot about that. All right, so I'm 18 and a half. So this is fine. Delete. Delete this. Delete. Okay, I'm good. The canard's gonna give me my lift that I need. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take the canard, move and rotate. Wait, is this where I want it? Is this where I want it? I really should give it a little tiny bit more incidence. Uh, okay. Move and rotate. Copy. Bring it out. Now, how big do I want the canard to be? Deselect. I am going to scale this down. I'm going to look orthographically from the side. I got to scale this down from here. Okay. The canard is shaped very much like it's very much like the main wing without the second stage. So this has to be smaller, like there. It's about a quarter. Okay. Deselect. Move and rotate. I am going to go, uh, no, not five degrees. I'm going to go, oops, what did I just do here? Deselect everything. Move and rotate. 
I'm going to go negative 2. Okay. And now I'm going to go here, more loft here, pull these back, done. Okay, this looks good. It looks like such a such a high incidence. Uh, I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger. All right. Uh, okay, I am going to isolate this. So I have to select the whole thing, hit isolate, and then I can extrude it without worrying about uh, cutting into that body. And now I'm good. This is okay here. This is fine. Uh, okay, right there. Let's see if it comes. Yeah, yeah, it has to be there. All right, uh, let me redo this here. So what I need to do is move and rotate this like this, and then pull this over here. I'm gonna go positive, oops, other way. I'm gonna go move and rotate. I'm gonna go negative three. Now it's lined up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna butt it right up against that. I kinda like this one being out here, but I, I can't have it too big or else it's gonna throw the balance off. So I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. I'm gonna go here, more loft here. Pull back, pull back, done. All righty, that looks pretty good. So let's look at it from the side. I feel like it should be a little closer to the way. Like that, look at the real one. And the canard, the canard, on the real guy, I'm trying, just trying to find a side view of this thing. Oh, here we go. It's towards the top. Okay, so it is towards the top of the intake. Yep, it is supposed to be there. Okay. Okay. So let's hide some sketch planes. And let's double click, isolate, pull this guy in like half an inch, millimeters. Okay. Now we don't have anything protruding. Good. Okay. More mirror. Definitely not going to have active canards here. These are simply just going to be lift devices. <laughs> All right, this thing is adorable. <laughs> look, look at him. He's like, he's like so fat. He's so chunky. All right, let's do the vertical stabilizer. Vertical stab. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down about here. I'm gonna activate the the image. I mean, I already know where the, where the thing goes. It's just, all right, I don't, I don't really need it. Uh, okay, so the way that I do these, I actually can make an airfoil that's just as good as something downloaded. So sketch, I'm gonna sketch the line right about from here on the green axis almost all the way to the back. I don't go all the way to the back because I like to stand my models up on their tailpipes. And if you go all the way to the back, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't let it, let it sit up on its tail. So I'm gonna sketch a spline. I go out first and then I go, now I go about 40% and then I connect. So that right there is pretty much good. Uh, more mirror along that axis. 
and then I delete, and then I delete the center lines. And I'm going to move and rotate. Uh, I'm going to copy this airfoil for the vertical tail. And I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to scale this. I'm going to put it all the way back at the tip. I'm going to scale this all the way back to here. That's obviously too chunky. And I'm going to scale this down like that. Just something that's usable. I'm going to bring my image back, even though this is like the, the cartoon is just so off. Just this, just this get a, a reference. So it is taller. Uh, sometimes cartoony, like taller is better. Um, but I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to bring this. I'm just going to use my eyeball to do this correctly. That's good. Uh, okay. I'm going to rotate this five degrees this way. Or 10 degrees, actually, because I need this to be sunken down in there. So that has to be inside the body. So let's get this right there. It should be good. Okay. That's about the height I want it to be. So now I'm going to take both of these sketches, isolate, and I'm going to loft. More loft here that is done isolate beautiful thing and that will that'll merge in there once I union it uh, I don't I'm not gonna union that yet because I'm gonna have to slice it still is that enough uh, it could be a little thinner I'm always thinking about weight this body here I'm going to scale it in this orientation I'm going to go 85% of the thickness. Look at it from the back. I also don't want this thing to be too draggy, but also look stout and thick and chunky. So that looks good. Uh, I'm going to bring it back a little bit because, oops, I'm going to grab the body and I'm going to move it back as far as I can go where, oh, it's sticking out a little. I'm going to go down. Need it to be like that. There we go. It's like an arrow. It's got to have the. Uh, it's got to have the vertical tail as back far as possible to make it useful. This is cool. I'm gonna go a little tiny bit more. Twelve millimeters. <laughs> so cool. So cool. All right. Let's add something else. I want to add a detail here. There's a. Let's see the tail. I'm looking at the Vigan right now, and it looks like there's a there's a detail on here. Come on, PC. Internet is so slow right now. What is it doing? All right, of course. Of course, it's a dead link. Uh, oh, here we go. What is that? What is that on there? I'm looking at the vertical tail of the actual Vigan and it's got like a, it's got a, a weird, oh, that's so cool. All right. I don't know what that is, but it's like a, I can do this pretty quick. Is this going to be easy to print? That's the problem. It's not going to be easy to print that in. Always got to think about printing. All right. I can't do it. I was going to add a, uh. I was going to add a detail onto the tail, but it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work. All right. All right, whatever. So we're pretty much good here. The only thing is, is the, the CG is going to be back. The CG is going to be tricky on this because the, the canards are so out of whack from where it normally is. The, the, the tail edge of the canard is supposed to be, what is going on here? Why can't I, oh, that's all selected. The, the tail edge of the canard is supposed to be basically right over the top of the leading edge of the, of the main wing. And it's like overlapping. So uh, that means the CG is gonna go back. So 
All right. Well, that's fine. I'll just have to figure it out when I do it. I might have to glide test this thing. All right. So everything looks pretty good. Uh, it looks good to me. What we can do is we can take these and union them. Why, why isn't... I want, I want to union all this together. Yes. I'm going to check on my 3D prints real quick. See if they're done. That one's done. And this one is done. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this up because my prints are done. <laughs> uh, I printed my my fatty uh, Mirage 2000 again because I have to do a build, build video. That's how much I do for you guys. So next video, I'm going to cut all the holes through it and make, uh, make this thing a functional RC plane. So I hope you like this video. And uh, if you haven't, like and subscribe. And uh, I will be back shortly with another one.